In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug external PowerShell processes using Visual Studio Code. Uh, this functionality requires PowerShell Pro Tools to be installed and licensed using a PowerShell Pro Tool subscription. On the left hand side, what you're going to see is a PowerShell Pro Tools um, activity button. And if I click that, it's going to open this activity pane that includes a bunch of information uh, about your current PowerShell environment. And one of those things is the PowerShell host processes section here. So this shows all the different processes that are hosting PowerShell um, on your machine. So typically this is going to be uh, PowerShell or PWSH.exe, but this could also include things that are um, hosting PowerShell um, in a custom PowerShell host. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to come over to this process here. And you can see if I type PID, uh, the process ID 16128 is uh, listed, and we actually will see that inside um, PowerShell or Visual Studio Code here inside the PowerShell Pro Tools uh, PowerShell Explorer. Uh, when you expand that, what it's going to do is it's going to show all the run spaces that are actually um, currently executing inside of uh, that process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type get, get run space over here in my PowerShell window, and you can see I have a single run space, um, and that is what is listed uh, here. So what's cool about this is you can actually attach the debugger to those background run spaces in that external process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new run space using start thread job. So start thread job creates a new run space, and then it runs this script in that run space. So I'm going to call start thread job. Um, I'm going to include a wait debugger command, um, and that's actually going to pause the run space until the debugger is attached. Next, I'm going to call uh, something like get process and um, start that thread job. So you can see here that it's returned the job one uh, is running. And if we check the run spaces now, you're going to see that there is uh, run space three has been created. And it's currently in breakpoint, which means that it's sitting on this wait debugger command that I actually uh, added. So if we come back to Visual Studio Code uh, and you click this little refresh button, you're going to see it, it found run space three. So that's the run space that was created um, based on that job. And what I can do is I can actually click this attach run space uh, button here, and it's going to attach the Visual Studio debugger to um, this particular uh, run space in that external process. So it's actually communicating over to that external processes debugger, and now we can actually do things like uh, look at the variables for that particular process. Um, we can also step through code in that particular uh, script block. So you can see here I stepped over the wait debugger, and now I'm sitting on the get process command. So in this way, you can kind of debug external PowerShell processes that you may or may not have control over um, and that aren't uh, directly started by Visual Studio Code. So in this video, we use the uh, one-click attach feature of PowerShell Pro Tools to debug an external PowerShell process in Visual Studio Code.